Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of First Person, as always sponsored by the Precision Strip Company in Minster, Ohio. A great place to work. We talk about a guy to either start or finish your career. Check them out online or give them a call. They'll let them know you saw them on PressProsMagazine.com and appreciate their sponsorship of First Person. An exciting week uh, coming up here in the next 10 days and Roger Kraft, my uh, good friend, neighbor and I hope soon to be your good friend as well, the commissioner of the Three Rivers Conference. Uh, Roger, we talked about uh, the conference uh, about a year ago in, in pretty much uh, a fact of theory, but now it's within 10 days, the re-entry of the, or the reintroduction of the old Three Rivers Conference. And uh, it's exciting because five teams here in Miami County, uh, Covington, uh, of course, Milton Union, Troy Christian, Bethel, Miami East, Lehman up in, in uh, Sydney, uh, up in the graph you got Riverside and you got Northridge in uh, North Suburban Dayton. So uh, an exciting time and uh, you're the commissioner so uh, you got 10 days to get it right. <laughs> it's actually uh, the, the golf teams have already started so they're, they're off and, and hit, hitting that little ball and uh, hopefully they're having fun and we're really looking forward to getting these eight schools and uh, yeah. eight fine communities uh, competing so it, it's 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 been a long awaited, so it seems like two years has been a long time. There's two or three questions that beg a, a, a asking and deserve good answers, and there's nobody to give them but you. I think there were some people who were surprised when the, the dissolution of the uh, Cross County Conference because you got 10 teams, 12 teams there that pretty much had the same uh, community dynamic or cultural dynamic. But the big issue, and at least in the minds of most people, was the relevancy of football. Now you have a league where that is going to be uh, first and foremost and, and, and front and center here uh, this fall. You've got five or six teams that can compete uh, pretty much on an equal basis on Friday night in football. Well, the good thing about that, from the commissioner's standpoint, we feel like all eight of them can compete in any given year. So it's uh, it's going to be, a you know, if you're talking about football in, in general, yeah, some of it was geared towards football, but uh, overall, although, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's a fall, winter, or spring sport, we feel like it's going to be a very competitive league, very, you know, very, very uh, well representative of, uh, of, our, of our conference. The fact of football, though, you can't overlook it because it is so important to the sure. overall financial health of your conference. Absolutely. Football, football is kind of the cash cow. Um, it, it, it rules a lot of things, whether you're in a local school district, whether you're in a conference. Uh, it's, it's right there, and it, it's, it's Friday night lights, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's, it's getting closer and closer to to the football time and of course Ohio is driven by football so it's 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 an exciting time not just for the football but for golf and cross country and volleyball and make a good point it, yeah. it, it, all, all the way around Woody Hayes told me one time football is part of our culture it, it, in Ohio it's part of the culture it, it is it's not yeah. just a tradition it's the culture it absolutely is you just mentioned the other sports and that had an awful lot to do with the breakup and the other six schools going to uh, west of the well, what's now the Western Ohio Athletic Conference and the schools over here uh, but the fact of uh, parity and uh, the fact that some schools didn't have some sports and I don't think a lot of people understood that. Absolutely, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be exciting for everybody. Um, you didn't, and again, it doesn't matter whether you, you're talking about soccer or, what, or basketball or you, you, know, you look at the schools and wrestling. Um, holy cow, it's, I can't wait till this winter to watch our kids wrestle. You know, was, we just put the eight schools that are in our conference together in one gym and we had that conference match. It's it's going to be exciting. So it, it's it, it's across the board. It's not just it is football driven. You know that's that's to be honest. It, it like we said it's a cash cow. But across the board, all sports, fall, winter, spring, it's going to be really exciting. Well, and winter too. You got to talk about basketball because there's some pretty good basketball teams Absolutely. with great basketball traditions. Uh, it, that comes and goes, of course, yeah, you know, with the cycle of athletes, but you've got great traditions of basketball there as well. Absolutely. That, that'll that be exciting. Doesn't matter whether it's girls or boys, it's it's exciting to go watch. Uh, you remember something about basketball, don't you? Oh, yeah, maybe a little. I, 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 do, I, do like, I do like to go watch basketball. I, I like to watch kids compete in general, so it, it's going to be exciting this fall. It's going to be exciting this winter. Uh, those kids put on uniforms, and they're, they're representing the, the Three Rivers Conference. It's going to be cool. Roger Kraft, the commissioner of the Three Rivers Conference, our, our guest this week on First Person. I want to uh, also take a, a moment and, and talk about the fact of what it takes to start a conference. Because I think, uh, and I've had this said to me before already this, uh, this month, 
this could be the harbinger of good things to come because more than one coach in the Three Rivers Conference has said to me now, hey, the greatest thing, 38 miles is the longest trip. The travel is so much nicer. And the point of being is I think this could be, uh, if, it isn't, if it, the model hasn't been established already, of more, smaller, closer, more convenient conferences across the state. Absolutely, that, that, that was that was the drive, one of the driving points. So, you know, when you look at the, I, that was one of the first things that when they, when I was asked to be the commissioner, is I put together a spreadsheet and showed the mileage to the administration, and and it it's great when you when you look at what time junior high kids, you know, if you're, whether they're playing junior high volleyball or junior high basketball or junior high any football or whatever they're playing, and you know, some some of the conferences they're getting home at ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. You know, I. I really think you know we're starting at 5:30. You know, game most contests can be over by 8 o'clock. Half an hour bus trip, they're home by 8:30, getting their, into their books and whatever they need to do, getting getting prepared for the next day. So they're got a chance to get in bed at a decent time and and and, and do things that normal junior high kids can do. How tough was it to find eight schools that wanted to play together? Well, to be quite honest, uh, when they asked me to be the commissioner, Scott Donaldson, uh, Ashley Johnson, and, and, and the ADs that are representing those eight schools had kind of already had things formed. Um, of course, we had another school out there that was invited to be in, and it, it, took, it took a little time. But by the time I was commissioner, asked to be the commissioner, eight schools had basically, my, my first meeting, we, we signed a memorandum of, understand, uh, of understanding two years ago, uh, in two years ago, I guess it was last March, it was, uh, it was 2000, 2019. Uh, uh, it, those guys did the, the groundwork, so you'd have to ask Scott and those guys, but it was almost too good to be true when, when they said, hey, we got eight schools. I went, you got to, how'd you do that already? You know, it was like, I was bewildered that it came together. As, I can't say easily because they did it, um, but it, but it came together almost too good to be true. You know, you mentioned uh, a couple of schools, or at least one that I know of, that was invited and chose not to become a member, but there is room for expansion. Oh, absolutely. We'll, we'll never, look, you know, never say never. Um, we're, we're always willing to listen and look, and um, if a school wants to come in full-fledged, all sports, um, we're, we're, we're always going to listen. You know my good friend Don Camper, who is the commissioner Sure. The Pete Rosell, the oh, Mac. Yeah. He always tells me that the toughest thing is to figure out which game you're going to on opening night. Oh, you got yours picked out? Oh boy, uh, huh? there, there, there's several. There's several good ones. I think I sent you the football schedule a couple. <laughs> and there's, I, I circle them. You know, one day I can circle this one, and the next day I might circle that one. So I'll, maybe you should call me, and maybe we can write. Maybe we choose the same one. We can write together. Well, you know, we're looking forward to doing uh, providing coverage to the Three Rivers Conference as well, and and uh, I, I just think it's exciting, right? especially. Uh, for our, all the things and the reasons we just talked about, it bodes well for those schools, and particularly at a time when I think that uh, high school sports needs some good news to rally around. Right, and, and you know what really, really is important, and it bodes well for, for our kids in those eight schools. Those eight schools, like we said, geographically are going to get home earlier, they're going to be more competitive, we're playing uh, double round in, all our, in most, most of our sports, so there, there's going to be some true rivalries. There's already some of, the, some of those rivalries are there from one of the Three Rivers Conference was way back when, and we're going to continue to develop those rivalries starting in the seventh grade with double round in volleyball and double round in junior high basketball and all the way and as you do that, the rivalries get there, and, and then the competition gets... Since, since you brought that up, somebody's going to write or ask me... What's that? How about the old records for the Three Rivers Conference? Do, does the well, new conference records count toward the old ones? Well, they, they, these, are, these are eight brand new schools, so when you, know, when you look at the old, the old Three Rivers, and you had Tip and Graham and, you know, and uh, for sales and you know, those kind of things. So, We'll start with a brand new slate is, is the way we're looking at it. All right, final question. I know Doug Hughes is going to be interested in this one. Absolutely. How is My the, good friend from Parkway. How's the statue of Roger Kraft outside uh, Parkway High School coming along? <laughs> I don't think that's ever going to happen. It's probably, uh, it might, might happen in my dreams or somebody's nightmare, but it's it's not probably. They bad. still tell tales on you up there. They're yeah. still proud of you, son. That's yeah. good stuff. That's 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 nice, but uh, Park, Parkway is a wonderful thing. They treated me well. and. Uh, 
couldn't be prouder to be a Panther, so uh, I don't think there'll be any statues. They so. set you on the road to success. Oh, I don't, yeah, well, they, that, that did happen, so I, I don't know about the success part of it. We're, we're working on it. We're working hard. Roger, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Hey, appreciate it. Thanks. I know the Cross County Conference is in good hands, and uh, we're all excited to watch and see you get off the ground, and we'll be there on Friday nights. Three Rivers Conference. Well, I had three Rivers Conference. Oh, that, yeah. uh, we are, hey, old in, habits. Yeah, old habits. Old so habits here in Covington. Break, so old anyway, habits. Anyway, the, Thanks for the correction, by yeah, the way. That wraps good. up this edition of First Person with Roger Kraft. Again, sponsored by the Precision Strip Company in Minster, Ohio. Great place to work, to start, or finish your career. Check them out, give them a call, or check them online. As always, we thank you for your support of what we do each and every week here on uh, First Person. And, uh, PressProsMagazine.com. We couldn't do it without you, nor do we want to. And we'll see you again next time. It'll be football season then. Absolutely. We'll be off and kicking yes. then. Two weeks. In two weeks. Another edition of First Person. Until then, have a great week, everyone.